that was such a beautiful song. Oh, could you. could you please just tell me a little bit about it because it is quite bearing. Your your music in general is is quite just just the truth basically. Um, you, there's no sort of it's just cut straight to it. So could you just tell me a little bit about it? Yeah. Um, well, I've kind of been writing that song for a long time. I didn't really know how to go about it, so I had a few drafts and then I kind of just decided to write it as if I was talking to my kind of 16 year old self or yeah and and see what I would say to them and mm. and and that's kind of how I made why I made it so direct because I wrote a few co few drafts that were like a bit more vague and like it could be about this or it could be about that and then I just decided if you were writing a letter to 16 year old Alex what would you say and then I wrote that out and then I used those kind of lines into the in the original song in the end and then yeah now you okay. got the finished that was product a bit vague, but yeah that's yeah, how i did it that's great yeah i love how direct your music is um i was saying before how i just think that you just are a no-nonsense person that you just cut straight to it and and it's just such a beautiful song and i think that it will mean a lot to a lot of people oh, that thank this you. release but you've also got another song um on your ep that you released um it was see you soon the ep but the yep. song is um where, uh, in what Sydney looks like in June. What Sydney looks like in June. Yeah, uh, that song. I, I've been living in America for three years, and I kind of came back and realised it was like kind of moving to a new country um, because I'd been away for so long. So all the friends that I had, I was used to seeing them once or twice a year, and then now I'm here. So I, I wrote it from the perspective of someone who just moved to Sydney from a country town. Mm. Um, so it's about Jen who works too hard and has to uh, find moments to herself and takes a day off work and goes and sees the harbour. So yeah, that's kind of where that came from. Mm. Yeah. And what was the reason for being over in um, USA? Uh, I was studying and playing soccer. Um, I got a soccer scholarship to go over. Amazing. Yeah, um, which is great. I got to travel around in a bus with 20 of my friends and play games and yeah I studied maths and physics and I finished up in May yeah and came back home came back home released music and in the rest June. is history yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a show on Friday right in Perth yeah. and that's the that, that is, that's the end of your tour that's the then. end of the tour yeah what what is the plan after that like sleep or uh, yeah sleep <laughs> yeah. um just for like three weeks uh, yeah. no I'm I think I've I've, I've, I know I've got some festivals coming up. I've got The Plot and then Grow Your Own just before Christmas, Lost Paradise just after, and then a few other shows here and there. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah, you probably are going to sleep. Like, yeah. we're joking about it now, but that's probably exactly what you'll do. Yeah, I'm getting a band. So we're practising working up to a band show. I've just been wow. playing solo up to this point. Yeah. And, yeah, so that's new for me. That's so going to be great. Do you yeah. often like work with bands though, like backing or is it just... No, I never have. So oh, I had once a while ago, but yeah, uh, these shows and the two, the few shows I did in January as well in Australia. Yeah. And um, yeah, all the supports I've done, I've done on my own. So this is like completely new for you. Yeah. And like meshing with a, a band as well. It's been good though. Like I, I like performing on my own. Like it's kind of, you just have to perform. Just like do you it. just have to just do it. Yeah. Yeah. And you're kind of the only focus and mm, sometimes it's, it's easier as well would you say just because you can Probably. choose when to change things up or yeah yeah, yeah. Beautiful. if you forget a verse yeah <laughs> you just do it yeah. <laughs> yeah i learned to drive to school when i was 16 i was happy with my friends and we skipped class for time to breathe we learned to brown the stars and the trees i cried when i found kissing boys wasn't for me so I tried every trick in the book I tried talking to the pretty boys I changed the way I look But wearing dresses to impress Just left me lonely and upset and the boys could tell when I looked at her I wasn't interested in them It's not worth hiding if you got something to say And it's not worth smiling if you're feeling in pain And it's not worth hiding if you think you might be gay Or different in another way you're perfect just the same Turned over the paper and it left me ashamed 
It's a dangerous, contagious gaze, unsafe, and you should keep your kids away. But I grew older and bolder, and my friends caught on slowly. Nineteen, and we grew all the way from my shoulders. We say it's not worth adding if you've got something to say, and it's not worth smiling if you're feeling in pain, and it's not worth hiding if you think you might be gay or different in another way or perfect just the same. Your story might not be at all like mine I don't mean to simplify This should be in your own voice, in your own time But the cages that they've made us Should soon just rust away And this song just won't need singing But for now, I'll let it play It's not worth adding if you've got something to say And it's not worth dying for the people Who don't smile at your name It's not worth lying if you're feeling in pain And it's not worth hiding this happiness on the way